Today is Monday. We're ready for the next location. We're heading to Moyale. Of course, there are nation always. And um, this time round, we will stop in Masabi for like a few hours before we head to Moyale. It's three hours to Masabi, three hours to Moyale. So it's a six hour trip. It is 8 a.m. in the morning and the whole team is out here. We're all just trying to sort out logistics. So interesting, but uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna get there. So of course, I'm standing next to a car. It's not quiet around me, but hey, that's the reality of life. So I feel good being a day older. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll catch up with you when I get to Moyale. Until then, ciao!
Guys, good morning. Ooh, ooh, ooh. New Dara is blue, and I'm wearing it with blue. Um, a blue camis. Let me show you. <laughs> oh my. Okay, I'll put a better video of the fit. Um, so excited. I am so fascinated with this tree behind me. Can you just see how pretty this looks? It's so green. It's so cute. It's so, ooh. Last time I was here, it wasn't this cold. It wasn't raining this much. But all good. You guys know I don't mind cold weather. I actually do mind warm weather, hot weather. But cold weather, just perfect for me. I do have a sweater back in the training hall. But I just wanted to take pictures with my outfit. Oh, with my outfit. <laughs> Anyways, Moyale has been good so far. Today is my tonight was my second night. Yeah, tonight was my second night. I had a good night's rest last night. I feel so so good. Can't wait for the training to happen today because we're going back to Ethiopia with a plan to shop till we drop. <laughs> okay, um for me what I want is chili. Of course you already know I bought last time. I wanna get some more and my family has also sent me chili so i want to get chili this time around i'm hoping i can get butter so i also want to get butter um aside from chili and butter that's what i want i also want to get henna henna i'm not saying that it's cheaper in ethiopia i just want to get henna that's just for me i feel like i want that yeah for myself and yeah it's good to want things for yourself <laughs> aside from that i've been having a good day a chill day um so far this is my second week in the field and i feel really really good i am not feeling fatigued which sometimes is something that can really you know get on you especially when you're off-road all the time but i'm um, feeling really rested so i feel good i feel amazing yeah and i'll catch up with you guys in ethiopia ciao Show me the fake to you now. 
from Ethiopia and I feel so nice let me show you what I bought this time around I decided let me splurge because it's almost Christmas you guys know it's November Ooh, and Christmas is in December and so I'm doing my Christmas shopping now wise people so that my December money remains for January yeah so let me show you what I bought for Christmas for the family <laughs> So starting here, I bought the traditional Ethiopian um, kettle, which is for coffee. And I like the fact that it has patterns, so I picked the one with leaves. I bought two because one is for my house and one is for my memes' house. And I like this thing that they look like pencils, but they're not really pencils. They're just wood carved and painted. So it's like a stopper right there where you can put your coffee. I bought coffee cups. So this is a dozen. Um, they... Guys, I haven't converted this cash. So this was 400. No, was it 400? No, 500 beer. This was 280 beer. So 400 beer, 400 beer. So it's 800 beer um, to 80 beer for each. So that's double. They were packed in there, guys. The paper that was burned, I'm going to leave it in, in, in its hopes. I'm not going to bring it back to Kenya so that you don't say, Kisla! No, I'm not carrying it. But they were packed in soda, sorry, hay, so that they don't break. Next year, I have chili and I went ham. Or rather, I don't know, ham means like going hard on buying stuff. Yeah, I did. So I bought a kilo. Um, I bought one kg of the bed bread. So I bought two of them. These were going for... 500 beer each um, <laughs> Guys, I'll do the math later. Actually, I'm not gonna do the math go and convert the exchange rate is 1.5 So 500 beer. So this was a thousand beer and then I got this for 300 beer This is Shiro a kg again each now the reason why I bought in big packs is because Christmas I'm going to be gifting these so one of my aunties was probably gonna host the one who's hosting is getting a kilo The one who's not hosting will get like portions. I'm gonna portion it out for non hosters But the host is getting a kg and another kg <laughs> So whichever of my aunties one of you is getting this as a gift for Christmas Anyways, um the other one this one was 300 bit. I bought two of them so that's 600 bit for two kgs then I bought half kg um, so this one was 500 beer. This is 250 beer and then I bought two of them. So that was 500 beer and again This one's I'm probably just gonna give them to mom or one of my cousins. I'm not sure yet. I bought some coffee some coffee <laughs> This is original um, Ethiopian coffee Abyssinia and um, I like the fact that in Ethiopia they always do this nice nice pretty artwork so the coffee was going for 250 beer i bought one i'm probably going to go back and buy some more i want to see if my family wants some where they will now send me these ones are not gifts the, these ones they'll pay for so when they send me i'll get for them and then i bought some deras i've been wanting this data for quite some time this green one here i got this for 400 kenya shillings and i got the scarf for 300 kenya shillings so that was 700 bob and then i got this data for 400 bob so this was kenya shillings i bought this in kenya in moyale before i went and bought this in ethiopia i will be going back to ethiopia tomorrow to get some more stuff um because i'm gonna ask my family if they want they send me money now i buy for them and i want to get um the ethiopian dress i don't know if i'll be able to get it but guys i'm crossing my fingers that i can get one because i want to look like an ethiopian princess for christmas this year Woo! yes yeah, so that is my today shopping haul from ethiopia and kenya all right guys let me go for dinner with you. 
what's up guys welcome to Moyale I am on top of a hill and the road is down there can you see it meandering like the meanders I'm not even gonna try and point can you see the meandering behind me <laughs> anyways I am enjoying my trip and I just wanted to stop by and say you should come and visit yeah ciao <laughs> What's up guys? Hi. We are about to leave for Ethiopia again. Hey guys, I just got back home from another shopping and this time around I got extra stuff, mostly just for Christmas. So I got more chili. These are for my cousins, the ones who live by themselves. Yup, you know yourselves girls, I got you something. And then I got more shiro for them actually. So they're getting two shiros and one chili, there are three of them. So these are six, these are three. And then I got turmeric for all my aunties. This is Ethiopian turmeric. Um, it's actually really strong guys, so I got that. And then I decided to get this 12 cup saucer, especially cause I just like this pattern. So this is the story of Jesus, um, but told from the orthodox perspective. And I think this is really cool. I like the pattern and all that. So I bought these. Um, so these are definitely going into my house. 
I'm definitely going to keep one of these. So I'm I'm going to give up one and keep the other. Um and that has remained. So that is so far my haul from Ethiopia. I don't know if I'll buy any more, but you can tell where my mind went. It is to the kitchen. I tried to pass by the dress, but guys, the dresses are so expensive. I'm actually going to put that here. Dresses go for like 7,000 Kenya shillings. I just decided, you know what, maybe next time. So people are getting spices. Yes. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. morning guys this is the current situation on my desk <laughs> i'll start here so i started packing already i'm not done those are the shoes i'm wearing today so here we are with my suitcase you can see i have space right there for most of the things up here this is my carry bag and this is what is going on to my carry bag apart from that bag now that my that's my toiletry bag and I have my tiny toiletries, which I couldn't put inside until I showered. And then I have other stuff like uh, pens and whatnot. I also have like the portable, <laughs> portable USBs, different ones. I have the type C and I have the, oh, this is also type C. Oh, all three are type C chargers. Uh, the reason why I have them is cause of my lighting, um, the microphone. It's also type C, like a lot of the stuff that I need to charge is really type C, so that's it. Um, yesterday I had to go to hospital um, because this girl right here did something <laughs> that I'm about to tell you all about it. But before I do, right here I have sweets that I have been collecting. So this is one of those portable shower cups you get at the hotel. And... I just felt like it'll be the best place to carry sweets. So those are sweets I've been collecting from my trainings. I don't usually eat sweets immediately. I eat them, just not immediately. So, yeah, I got some medicine. I should put it like that. <laughs> just so I have meds. I also have some medicine down there, and I'm covering that with my nails. So yesterday, I bought this family insect killer mostly just because of um mosquitoes so there were mosquitoes in my room and i was like you know what i'm gonna get a repellent so here in moyale the only one i could get was this one i was looking for motin but this is what i got and i was like okay let me try it out and then i did guys and when i did yo i was choking in my room by myself while i was spraying so by the time i was done spraying this thing was so strong i had to go to hospital and so yesterday I got an injection. I'm going to insert a clip right here while I was getting the injection. Uh, good thing is I'm good now. This is a whole uh, almost 24 hours later. I slept in the same room that I sprayed it in. So I can confirm that I feel better to all the people I called, especially my memesies. I'm okay. I promise. I'm better now. But I was just like this thing. It is different, like it's something I've never experienced before. So if you ever come across this one, family and killer, just know that this thing is strong. You need to spray it in an open room and then run and be away from that room for like three, four hours. I sprayed it at five. I came back to my room at nine. So three, four hours is good for it to for you to be able to sleep there. Anyways, the reason why my toiletries were not in the toiletry bag is because I had not showered and a lot of the like my washcloth is there i have um the stuff that i'm going to use on my skin right here toothpaste and whatnot so i was like shower first and then take everything to the toiletry bag which is what i'm about to do and then last but not least that is my outfit of the day oh guys i feel so good i am traveling to isiolo back to isiolo but a different location than i was last time so let's get for this adventure together i already packed everything that was up there so um that is already somewhere else i'm going to show you that and last but not least i had henna done Ooh, i am going to insert a clip right after i remove my arm <laughs> um for this henna this henna was just like 
to pick me up it was more of like a pick me up it's what i got done as i was waiting for my room to be habitable again and guys just look at that isn't it so pretty and cute see one of the insects that died from me spraying <laughs> isn't it so pretty and cute i love it this is the last time i'm gonna see my balcony view actually you know what guys let me take you outside so that you can see what i see in the morning when i wake up we are actually looking at ethiopia ethiopia is right there but let me show you when i get outside so guys this is the view from my room so the parking is right here there's a building under construction and actually that's the main road right for the roundabout that's the road that heads to customs i don't know if you can see the customs gate right there so that's customs anyways aside from customs what we can see is um ethiopia so ethiopia is uphill while moyale is downhill so essentially we walk downwards and then go back up uh for ethiopia but can you see how <laughs> very very um populated it is it's so pretty guys so so pretty so that's the view from my room um, i'm on the second floor so that's the view i get now down here at the parking it gets really busy at some point because guys also use this as parking um after the hotel we have a few shops that do a lot of wholesale um shops so they usually just go and pack their goods there and so there's usually a lot of noise during the day but by 7 p.m they are all closed off so it becomes quiet if you're in the room which i don't mind but of course the higher you are the better it is i just want you to peep at this poster <laughs> massive electricana cultural festival so I was supposed to go for this festival, but clearly you can tell I'm in Moyale. <laughs> Today is actually the 26th, so it's already even passed. Um, this was happening in Loyangalani, one of the areas that I have already been to. But I really wanted to go because this was going to showcase all the cultures that are in Masabit. Fun fact, if you didn't hear about this in my Loyangalani video, Masabit has 70% of Lake Trukana administratively. So Lake Trukana is mostly for Masabit County. <laughs> and so a lot of our fish comes from Lake Trukana. But whenever we say it comes from Lake Trukana, it's actually coming from Masabit County. That is the current governor. Um, his name is Mohamed mohammed mohammed ali yeah so that's he's a face of the poster because this is a county um initiative i would have loved to go i didn't go i missed it um i'm hoping that i can go next year so this is a constant reminder of the fact that i was far away from loyangalani <laughs> but i don't mind it guys it's so nice uh, that i still got to go to ethiopia and shop and do a lot of stuff i bought a lot of christmas gifts um yeah so i'm going to move on inside and show you how i packed oh actually let me turn and show you my outfit <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? I'm in my bathroom, so sorry for the echo, but it wouldn't be a long video, so <laughs> I don't mind filming it here. Anyways, I'm in the bathroom, as you can see, and I'm only here because the mirror is right in front of me. So someone asked me, why do I tuck in my Dara? And I was like, okay, let me just show you all a tutorial. So I'm going to flip <laughs> to my other hand. Sorry for the change. But the reason why I do that is first of all, um, my dares are really long. I'm going to get to show you a full length once I step outside and someone can assist me to hold the camera. But in the meantime, um, the other reason why I do it is because it's a pocket. Yeah, you can see the pocket. Get into it, y'all. <laughs> it's a pocket and like I have my portable light in there. I also carry my phone in there, so definitely would recommend. Now, you don't need to tuck in your Dara. I just find that everybody here tucks it so I can fit in and I like that. But if you don't want to tuck it in, you just need to shorten your Dara. So now almost all the Dara's I own are long. Only the house ones, look at that mosquito. Only the long ones <laughs> are the ones that... Um, Oh, only the ones that I'm not shortened are the ones that I tuck in. But if I shortened it, I don't tuck it in. But this is amongst the long ones, and I like it. Plus, I feel like it just gives you extra grace around your tummy area. Yeah, 
I do have a tummy. I'm very well aware. <laughs> And so, uh, yeah, it just gives you extra grace because now no one is looking at the shabby girl, just think it's the fold. Yeah, so let me go and show you the full fit without tacking. guys i stopped by my house to just uh, drop a few things that i didn't need with me so those are the two kettles some peach drinks some other drinks and then um a cook i have chili here i have more peach drinks some coffee uh my cups i have the mother load of the spices there and these are things that i dropped here uh from decorating my cake in isiolo but just look at that look at that see how many insects have been caught in the flight so by far the most devastating thing is to find all my wooden utensils getting mold because of cold i've just washed this one but you can see it has mold there and mold there so i'm thinking i'm gonna have to just switch to none wood um here in the living room i have found mold growing right here so I'm just going to do a quick wipe because I don't want it to spread to my television. I don't know where it came from, but I'm not going to let that ruin <laughs> my TV. And I'm really happy that this thing is covered because we're actually trying to clean mold off of wood right now. And I don't have time. Anyways, I came to carry a few things, some of the stuff that I left from Isiolo and then leave. So, ciao guys. See you in Isiolo. Hey, what's up, guys? When is <laughs> I'm back in Basalinga, just a different apartment. Um, and let me show you my balcony because it's so cute. Actually, let me. <laughs> I'm wondering whether to change the camera or not. No, I'm not changing the camera. One minute, guys. One minute. <laughs> Isn't that view so beautiful? It's 5.30 and um, I'm just going to go shower, get some food and sleep. Ciao guys.